This video is going to demonstrate how to make a simple line chart in Excel using Python. This is the test document we're going to be using for this demonstration. You can see it contains test data for two students. The thing to notice is that the data is contained in columns B and C and on rows 1 through 5, with the header row being the first row. Here I'm starting with loading in Load Workbook from OpenPixel. I then assign my workbook WB, and then I get my worksheet variable WS. I will then be saving my work with this cell right here. In order to make a line chart on the document, I need to import the line chart and reference object from OpenPixel. The line chart object is the actual chart itself. You'll see we will be adding data to it, and it is what we place on the worksheet when we're done. The reference object will contain pointers to the data table on our worksheet. I will create our line chart object right here and name it chart. The next step of the process is creating our reference object that will contain the pointer to the data. I am going to create one right now. I'm going to name it data. Here are the arguments that you pass reference. You can see right here the first one it accepts is worksheet. That is going to be the worksheet that we have uh, specified up here, WS. That's where the data is stored and where we are going to be putting a chart onto. For the next arguments, let's open up our document and find exactly what we need to pass. The table of data that we're going to be referencing is going to be cells B1 through C5. Our minimum column is going to be the first column of the data, so that's going to be column B. Our minimum row is going to be the first row. It will contain the headers of the data, and we'll be touching on that later. The maximum column is the farthest to the right column of the table, C, so that's going to be column 3. And the maximum row is how far down does the data go. That's row 5. Now let's bring these numbers to the function itself as the arguments. We will start with the worksheet, and then we will put in min column equals 2, min row is going to equal 1, max column is going to be 3, and max row is going to be 5. And I forgot to bring my workbook into memory. Let's run this cell, and then run our reference cell. There we go. Now, it's generally bad practice to have a chart without any titles on it. I want to access the chart object right now and apply some titles to the axes and a title to the chart itself. Starting with the chart, I am going to access the title attribute of the chart and call this chart test scores over time. Changing the titles of the x axis and the y axis requires us to go through the x axis and y axis attributes of the chart object. Both of these attributes actually have their own attributes called title. Starting with the y-axis, I will apply the title percentage. Our x-axis is going to be titled test. Currently, our chart object is empty. We do have our reference object called data. Let's put that data into the chart. We do that using the add data function on the line chart object. Here you can see a number of arguments that we can pass add data. The first is data, which is the reference object and what we've already discussed. The other of concern to us is the titles from data. Remember that when we created our reference object, we included the titles in the table of data. By default, you can see that the titles are excluded from the add chart function. Let's switch it to true so that OpenPixel knows titles can be derived from our reference object. Great, we now have our chart object with the data included. The final step in the process is to add the chart to the worksheet object. That is accomplished with the worksheet's add chart function. The two arguments we need to pass to add chart are the chart object and the location on the worksheet the chart should exist. I'm going to specify cell D5. This cell reference is where the top left corner of the chart begins. With our chart added to the worksheet, let's save our workbook and reopen it to check our work. Here we can see our final line chart applied to the workbook. It's accurately measuring test percentage over time for both students. 
specifying titles from data has accurately captured the top row as the title for each line, which you can see presented as the legend. You will also notice that the top left corner is indeed D5, as we specified in the add chart function. So as you can see, it's quite simple. All you have to do is import the line chart and reference objects, make a line chart object, add that data through the reference object, add a few titles to your chart, then add your reference object to the chart itself, and then finally apply the chart to the worksheet specifying where you want the chart to exist. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative and helpful. Please do hit subscribe if you like this video and leave a note letting me know what other features of OpenPyXL you would be interested in learning about.